be interested in seeing your digiplot computer, if you have the time. Well, you seem to know a lot about our ship. <laughs> yes, ships were my hobby when I was a kid. Oh. Oh, Miss McCoy. Oh, Captain, yes, sir. I'd like to have you meet Bobby Tryman. His father is the director of the line. Well, how do you do, Bobby? Hello. Since you're traveling alone, I've asked Miss McCoy to uh, kind of keep an eye on you. Don't go to any trouble. No, it's no trouble at all. I'm looking forward to being with you. We're going to have a lot of fun together. Thank you, Miss McCoy. It's Julie. Hmm. You certainly know how to put a passenger to ease. Well, thank you. I've got to get back to work. Bye-bye. Ciao, Julie. <sighs> She's lovely. Yes, she is. Tell me, is she married? <laughs> so tell me everything about you. I've told you everything except maybe my grandmother's middle name. Myrtle. <laughs> Isn't that awful? It's a lovely name. <laughs> tell me something about you. Well, there's not much to tell. When I finish eighth grade, I'll be going off to Choate. Eighth grade? How old are you? Thirteen. Would you like some lemonade? I'd love some. Say no more. <laughs> Oh, where were you when I was 13? <laughs> uh, Walter, uh, Mr. Barish? Uh, hi. Hi. It is okay if I call you Walter, isn't it? I mean, please, call me Julie. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Julie. Well, uh, did you want to talk to me? What? Oh... <laughs> No, I just wanted to say hello. Well, hello. I think I'll go try my hand at some skeet shooting. <sighs> Who was that older gentleman? Who? Oh. Uh, just a passenger. Mm. Walter, you're a man of mystery, too. Hi, Julie. Oh, hi, Bobby. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, the flowers suit you. Oh, thank you. I kind of thought you'd like roses. You've gotten us a table. Oh. Thank you. So, where were we? Uh, <laughs> that man with Julie, isn't he a little bit too old for her? Well, she's a cruise director. It's part of her job to socialize. She's beautiful. You seem to be very fond of Miss McCoy. Fond of her? I'm in love with her. Mm. <laughs> May I? Of course. Good morning. Julie, mm -hmm. what are you doing up so early? I have a date for breakfast. Ah, Walter Barish. No, Bobby Tryman. I thought Mr. B was at the top of your list. Well, he is pretty special. There is quite a difference in your ages. So? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, the way he dances and the way he carries himself, well, he has gentlemen written all over Hey, well, listen. Uh, who am I to argue with love? Ah. Uh. 
Good morning. Oh, good morning, Bobby. Did you sleep well? I dreamed about you. No. Did you think of me at all? Well, I don't get up at 8 in the morning for just anybody. Mm. I brought my backgammon board. Do you play? Mm-hmm. You can't be a cruise director and not play backgammon. Shall we play first or eat first, darling? <laughs> Bobby, you do understand, don't you? I mean, it's just that you have so much ahead of you. High school, college, your first love. Oh, I'm not putting this very well, am I? Well, it's just that I've already experienced those things, and you've got them all to look forward to. I'd give it all up for you. And we could go away together. I don't think so. But I would like to be your friend, Bobby. We can write to each other. Great. I thought I found the girl in my dreams, and I end up with a pen pal. <laughs> <laughs> you know something, Bobby? You're terrific. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I think I need some time alone. I was thinking I have a week off. Maybe we could spend it together. We could go to the beach. Oh, hi, Bobby. Hi. I really feel like a rat about Bobby. I mean, I broke his heart. Julie, letting somebody down is never easy. But sometimes it has to be done. Oh, but he's only 13 years old. How old are you? I'm 25. That old? Walter, I'm a woman. He's a child. Julie, I have a daughter 28 years old. Walter. A son 26 and another one 24. By the time I was your age, I was already married three years. Please don't. I'm sorry, Julie. This is not easy. Believe me. You don't have to tell me. I wrote the script. Well, we can always be, be friends. friends. Please. Please. I'm sorry. Nice to lie to a pen pal. <laughs> Would you like to dance the last dance with me? Sure, what are friends for? <laughs> you every day. And let's not go overboard. <laughs> oh, Bobby Tryman, you're the best. Mm. Au revoir, Julie. Mm. Au revoir. Julie? Oh, Walter. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm glad we met, friend. So am I, friend. Mm. 